Imagine a world where you can create your own games, websites, and even apps. They are examples of computer programs, and you can create them using programming languages. So in this video, we're going to dive into what a programming language actually is. It's a basically a language that we use to tell computers what to do. So let's dive into the details, a formal definition of a programming language. A programming language is a language used to write computer programs. See, when you're writing a computer program, the code that you'll write will be a sequence of instructions. But you must write these instructions in a very specific format called syntax. The syntax is specific to every programming language. It's the set of rules that define which instructions are valid, how we need to write these instructions. Why do we need to have different programming languages with different syntaxes? Well, because we cannot simply write the instructions in our code in a particular language like English or Italian or French and expect the computer to understand what we intended to do. The computer will not understand the instructions. That is why we have specific programming languages like JavaScript for different purposes. These are languages that the computer can understand. For example, JavaScript is a programming language, so the computer will be able to understand the instructions that you write following the JavaScript syntax. After you write your JavaScript program, what happens behind the scenes is truly amazing. Basically, your code is automatically transformed into something that we know as machine code, a sequence of binary numbers formed by zeros and ones, and they are essential because this is what the computer will actually understand when it tries to run the code in the hardware components in the different chips and elements and circuits. This is what the computer will try to interpret. But we will write our code in files using particular programming languages. And this entire process will be performed automatically by the computer. So we don't need to worry about this. We just need to write our code in our files. The process of transforming this code that we write into machine code that the computer can understand is performed by what we know as an interpreter or compiler, depending on the programming language. These are tools that perform this transformation. Some programming languages are classified as interpreted, while others are classified as compiled. JavaScript, for example, is interpreted, which means that the interpreter will interpret every instruction line by line to convert it into binary code, while a compiler would take your entire program and convert it all at once into binary code. And now you know what a programming language is all about. It's basically a language that we use to write computer instructions, instructions that our computer will really understand following a specific syntax, a set of rules of how we should write those instructions. Thank you for watching. I really appreciate your likes and subscribe. I will see you in the next video.